so I got the call a part to come in so I left work headed down to the auto parts store hoping it was what I wanted the right stuff and I was pretty confident that it was so after I got the parts I was happy they were the right ones so I started to head home and I thought well might be a good idea for stopping here and get me a little something to eat that way as soon as I get home I ain't got to take the time to eat I can get started on this truck so I was already excited sitting there at work thinking I might get a call today so when I did get the call I was just excited to get home get this thing put together so I got me a little bite to eat headed down the road got to think about everything I was gonna have to do I knew I was going to clean some parts up and do a few things guys so went to the auto parts store and got our parts everything come in so happy about that I know dad's happy about it um they got us the right one that's what we're looking for and uh, looks like it's a good quality and I found out that one of the tanks had a hole in it so, so, we ordered up one of these tanks. So we're gonna get that on there. I'm sure we could probably fix the gas tank, but it, it's so rough that, man, it's just easier. Just easier to get another one and, and replace it. It looks like it's made good, but uh, decided to get this under there. Now, as we got into this a little bit more, we realized that these tanks were in a lot worse shape than what we thought they was. Uh, the straps, the straps ain't that good either. <clears throat> Luckily, you can get the straps. Um, the brackets. They're kind of rough, but I think we can clean them up a little bit. And we got into this one, which was actually the best one out of the bunch. We found, see if I can get this on the camera and see it. We found a hole in the corner and some here. So that's just too bad to repair. And instead of going through all that trouble, you just got a new one. A lot simpler, a lot easier, like I said. They rusted up pretty good, but uh, we got a new tank now, so we don't have to worry about these. Gotta do a little cleaning, a little painting, and then we'll get it underneath of it. So before we get this truck going, we gotta get these hangers off these tanks and put these hangers back on the truck and then put the tank on these hangers. Now you gotta make sure these hangers are good because these hangers hold a lot of weight. You figure by the time you fill up this gas tank, that's a lot of weight in that gas tank. And then to be riding down the road and, you know, hit a bump or something like that, it's that much more force pushing up and down on these hangers. I should have said this on my previous video, but when you take these bolts loose, you take any of these bolts loose on these old trucks and they're rusted, don't try to just force them off without spraying something on them. Let it soak in a little while before you try to work with it. And work it back and forth. Don't try to go all at once. Come out a little bit and go back a little bit. And that will assure you to keep from breaking something. Now this truck ain't in really bad shape. Uh, cosmetically, it's got a few things that's wrong. But mainly, 
our main concern right now is getting the fuel to the engine. Um, we can turn the key over and you won't see anything spray out of these injectors. They're dry. I can pour a little something in there, a little gas in there, and it'll fire up. It will fire up. So I know the engine will run. <clears throat> I know it's a good motor. And it don't have a lot of miles on it either. I just know the main problem right now is we cannot get fuel up here. But hopefully we get this tank in here. We're going to find out that she's going to get gas. She's going to fire up, hopefully. And... Uh, we're gonna see how she runs. And I think the next thing we'll have to do after this point, after getting the, the gas issue situated, we're gonna to have to take these valve covers off and I'm gonna to have to replace the valve seals. If it sets for a little while and starts back up, it smokes is what they told me. So I know from what the previous owner told me that I'm probably gonna have an issue there. Um, I haven't got into it yet enough. And like I said, I haven't got it running good enough to see what's going on with it but the way they talked that it will smoke and then it'll clear up and if you let it set for a little while when you start it back up it'll smoke again and that just tells me that it's probably got leaked down past the valve seals and that's why when you start it up it'll blow smoke and then it'll clear up so I'm hoping that's the only problem uh, but I won't know until I get into it hopefully that's it but I'm excited to get this old truck running. Uh, it's a good old truck. It's got AC. And hopefully we can get all that working. Um, it's going to be a good old cruiser truck. And I'm pretty excited about it. So I was hoping this would be the video that I'd be able to show with the truck running. Or getting the truck running. But I had a little bit of a delay. Uh, I went and got the parts and everything. They had everything that I wanted. Uh, so thank you for that uh, painted the tank and got a few other things done ran into some other unexpected things that happened and uh, just like you know that's how it always happens and I got to cleaning the hangers up to put the gas tank back on and when I come across and found out that the hangers are rougher than I thought they was. So this is what the hangers look like. Well, that ain't good. I don't think that would have held a full tank of gas too long. I knew they had a little bit of rust, but I just didn't know how much. Yeah. So, these things, I think, are like 60 some bucks at LMC. I think that's what I paid for them. But I'm waiting for these to come in. And then, we'll try to get this truck back together. And like I said, I'm sorry because I thought this video, I would have the truck at least starting and running. And y'all could hear it run. But, uh... A little bit of delay but um, I appreciate y'all watching hopefully we'll have these other parts soon get this thing running and see what it does